Welcome back to Metal Rules TV. Wait, wait we're right. Yeah, but you guys didn't do it. <laughs> Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Right, do, do, do the Wayne's World thing. It's rolling. Do Five, four, three. Welcome, Welcome back, back to Metal, Metal Rules TV, where the underground meets the playground. I'm Jeff Rappaport. I'm Matt Givens. I'm Drew Murphy. And I'm Ryan Blackman. Us two are from some band called Hammer Fight, and these guys are from some thing called Metal Rules TV. All right. Which is this thing. That, that thing? Pretty good. This thing. <laughs> so in the news... This thing for us. Blitzkrieg are releasing their eighth album, Back From Hell, on September 13th. Back From Hell! Now that's a band that's been together for 30-something years, and they, and they only, have, only have eight albums. Yeah. How long were they in hell for? That's a long time. Were you going to talk about... For a second, I thought we just talked about that, but it was Holocaust that we yeah. talked about. Another band that Metallica covered. Right. For the, like, all those bands are coming back and doing, like, their a new thing again. Because they made enough money off Metallica covering them, so now they can fucking pay for studio yeah. time. It's when, fine. <laughs> when you heard stories about when, when Diamond Head first reunited, they got a lot of flack because people, less learned metalheads, thought they were ripping off they Metallica. Were ripping off Metallica songs. Yeah. Like, they just play, like, four Metallica songs. <laughs> <laughs> Stop playing those Metallica songs, you rip off band. Trying to ride their coattails. But I think that's one thing that Metallica did was was revitalize all these careers. No, and that's all awesome. All these bands. And all these bands, I'm sure, think it's all, are very grateful and think it's cool. Uh, one thing, <clears throat> I saw him on the, the way up about this. I think Blitzkrieg is cool. I'm not too familiar with all their shit. And the first, the only reason I initially heard of them is because of Metallica. Yeah. And, uh, but I... Definitely did like Metallica's version of their song better than the original. Well, it's like a heavier version. It's a heavier version, and I like the vocals better, you know. Right. But, I mean, for the most part, the music is almost exactly the same. I did see... I, it I, changed the arrangement, really. I actually saw them. They played at March Metal Meltdown. Oh, nice. Really? Yeah. Cool. In, was. in It was in... Uh, they stopped doing that a number of years ago, didn't they? Yeah. It was in the first one that was at... Uh, or was, Asbury yeah, Park. it was the first one. That first one was the best. That 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 they they'll never top that first one. That one that had amorphous hypocrisy, iced earth, uh, oh, Raven, Sepultura. That was awesome. I love iced earth. Um, Opeth. Get out. Um, <laughs> Your favorite guys. Uh, Gor Gorgots, Napalm Death. Gorgots is coming back. Yeah, they got an album coming out in the fall. I saw them open up at the. Yeah, the fall's gonna be huge, man. Thing. You, you, What's awesome. that? Gorgats and Carcass. They're great. Yeah. Oh, you saw them recently? At Death to Hall. Oh, yeah. Like the the one in Philly? Tribute. No, I went up to uh, New York. It wasn't this last time. It was the time before. Oh, okay. But uh, they opened up for... Yeah, Gorgats are awesome. They're so good, and they really deliver live. It's awesome. I like that. I, I had a problem with Death to Hall. Like, uh, I wanted to go for free. <laughs> Cause I mean, you great. couldn't, so then you have a problem. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> <laughs> my my thing was I saw Death when Chuck Schuldner was alive and I'm thinking myself, do I really want to spend like seventy dollars to see Death without Chuck Schuldner? Like, it was that much. It was like seventy dollars, wasn't it? What was your ticket? It wasn't that much. I didn't go. I don't know. Definitely, definitely wasn't. Give a way of exaggerating things. So it wasn't seventy. When I looked it up, it was seventy dollars. That's fucking so ridiculous. I, 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 I never paid more than thirty-five dollars to see Iron Maiden. Where, where, where was it? What venue? The I think it was the place that we went to to see that the the decibel show. You mean transfer? Was it? That's where it was. You can transfer a show would be seventy dollars. There's really no, suspect. yeah, that's that was outrageous. It's insane. It's, it's fucking banana Oops. nuts. That's but to B, me, it just, B A N A N A S, kid. To me, the appeal just wasn't there. To be, I, uh, I liked it because the lever was playing. Everybody, everybody was ever in the band to come up, you know. I mean, it's cool to see that, yeah, but like, I don't know. Maybe they would have like a bunch of like like an all star. Did array. Richard Christie make a bunch of prank phone calls? No, he did come up and do like one or two songs. And it was just but he didn't do anything funny. No, not really. Okay. Not well, it's supposed to be respectful, I guess. Yeah. I don't know, but that guy's hysterical. He is funny. <laughs> no, he rules. Like He's never really hysterical, like more just disgusting and and funny. I mean, whatever makes me laugh. Yeah. He's <laughs> <laughs> a very creepy ginger. He is. Oh fuck yeah. So anything else on uh, Blitzkrieg? Uh, Let's see us from the cheese. Um, when's the record come out? September thirteenth. 
Nice. Go buy the new Blitzkrieg record, kids. I might. I, I had, you know, I, like everybody else, I had only heard it from the Metallica cover. Wow. So after when the story came up, I listened to the original version of it, which was it kind of yeah, kind of like you. I kind of like. Maybe you want to listen to the Metallica. Then I listened to Man. another one of their songs. I, I think it was called "Pull the Trigger." And that was pretty decent as well. So yeah, I listened, to, I listened to a few. I listened to a bunch of other shit too yeah. when I was doing this, and it's cool. They're a yeah, good band. They're definitely so, cool. Definitely a good band. Uh, check it out. What's with all the like war references? Like it's metal. Like dude. It's Nazi violent, possible yeah. Nazi war references. Yeah, dude. Well, yeah. the word Blitzkrieg. As a Jew, are you for no? Because it was weird. Because we had last week we were talking about Holocaust, and you asked me if I was offended, but. Now it's kind of weird that this band's called Blitzkrieg, which yeah. is also associated with Nazi Germany at points. Well, I mean, one, the word Blitzkrieg, it sounds really fucking cool. Right. It does. And its definition is pretty fucking metal. You know? Yeah, the Blitzkrieg fucking, you know, war tactics. It's badass. High level fucking. Plus, it's a yeah, bop. For war. So, yeah. That's pretty. It's a what? It's a bop as well. Yeah. A bop. By the Ramones. Oh, Blitzkrieg. Come on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What are you, a rookie? I am. I'm not insinuating, by the way, any, any, any at all that the uh, just, it's just kind of strange. What? Oh, all the German, yeah. Yeah, that they have all these names, and they're not. Well, I mean, it's, it's war references. Dude. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. war stuff goes hand in hand with metal, and the Nazis are pretty good yeah. at doing evil shit. Right. Yeah. And metal guys seem seem to be into evil shit. Do you think there's a new wave of British heavy metal band named Nazi that just never came, that just never did well? Probably. <laughs> or it's entirely possible. You think? Or an early version of Sentence Metal, Kill the Jew, maybe? Yeah, yeah, or, or like or like a... <laughs> was a, Seth Putnam in that band? <laughs> <laughs> or was it maybe, maybe there was, maybe there was like a new wave of British heavy metal band called Swastika. Bus. Yeah. It's, like, you, it, it's, it's entirely possible. possible. Yeah. Okay. You never know, man. And do you think that um, do you think that if these demos exist, that Lemmy owns them? Yes. Probably, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he owns everything. Yeah. That happened in metal. All right. Just again, disclaimer: Blitzkrieg is not a Nazi band. That's I did not say enough. that. We're just having idle conversation. I did not say that. Okay. That stuff in their attic was their grandfather's. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Jim Hanneman said. That's it. Yeah. And that's what we have on Blitzkrieg. 